You are listening to It's Time to Pray. I am Pastor Andre from English Ministry Lagoinha. And in today's devotional, we will be talking about worship and fasting. In Acts chapter 13, verses 2 and 3, we read, While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. This prayer meeting was happening in the church at Antioch. There were a group of men with Saul and Barnabas, men who were prophets and teachers. And as they were worshiping and fasting, the Holy Spirit spoke to them. So today I would like to talk about praying, worship, and fasting. What exactly is praying? Well, praying, it's communicating with God. It's talking to Him, opening up your heart, uh, pouring out your heart to Him, sharing your concerns, your ideas, your emotions, your plans, your thoughts, just speaking to your Father. Worshipping can be defined as to see God's worth and show Him glory and honor. Sometimes we don't know what to pray. We don't know what to say. And the best thing we can do is just begin to tell God how worthy He is. Begin to give Him glory. Begin to give Him honor. Begin to give Him thanks and praise for all of the things that He has done for you, for your family in your life and through your life. This is one of the most powerful weapons that we have been given. And it's something that we must use. And there's also fasting. Fasting is going without food or a form of entertainment for a spiritual purpose. It is a moment of humility. It is a moment where you say, I'm not going to eat or I'm not going to watch TV, use the computer, go on social media, etc. for a spiritual purpose. Maybe it is to get in a, uh, maybe it's to get stronger in your faith or in your relationship with God. Maybe it's to hear the voice of God. Maybe it's to just meditate on our Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever it is, we fast for spiritual purpose and usually praying and fasting they go together you cannot fast without praying they need to go together but worship is also something that is necessary because worship it is a form of prayer when you worship God you also pour out your heart to him you begin to communicate to him on how awesome how mighty and how great our God is you begin to give him glory for all of the great testimonies, all of the wonders that he has done in your life, for giving you the gift to see and to hear the word of God, that he has given you the gift of salvation. It is time to worship God. It is time to spend time praying and fasting. Fasting is a powerful weapon that God has given to us. We need to set ourselves apart to spend time with Jesus Christ. Spend time with Jesus Christ. Maybe there are things in your life, distractions, entertainment, TV, technology, but what God wants us to do is to find a time that we just remove all of these distractions and focus only on Him. Maybe during this time, you are forced to stay home this is a great opportunity and I challenge you to spend time praying, worshiping and fasting all for a spiritual purpose to give God glory and to get closer to God. It's time to pray.